afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. So I just got Manly down for his nap. Kids are finished with their schoolwork. They are outside playing. I think I just heard somebody upstairs, though. Some of them are outside. I think Jonah might still be upstairs. He has his little gummy worm thing in here. He's wanting to make those. He got them at Cracker Barrel on Sunday, and he left it in the van and just remembered it today. So he brought it in, but his box is gone. But here's everything that went with it. We just now need to figure out how much water we're supposed to add with all the little gelatin stuff so he can make his gummy worms. We don't have the directions. You think it's still in the van? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he says he thinks it's still in the van. Go look for it and I'll help you mix the gelatin. And we also don't know if it's supposed to go in the refrigerator, freezer, what you're supposed to do with it. We've never made gummy worms. It looks fun though, look at the little worms. Yes, we have the gummy worm kit. Okay, Jonah, let's see the directions. Here we go. Two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of water. Microwave for 30 seconds. Refrigerate for 20 minutes. Okay, you only have to refrigerate it for 20 minutes. Hmm. Dump both packs in there. Okay, now what? Dump it All in. All right. No, you need to get two, two of those in there. Okay. So you put two of the orange, right? Two yep. tablespoons, now put two teaspoons. Mix it all up and then we'll put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So this is pretty neat. You don't have to deal with boiling water. I thought I was going to have to help him because, you know, usually with jello and gelatin things, you have to use boiling water. It's a pretty day out there and it's pretty cool. And y'all know yesterday we were talking about the Christmas tree and I couldn't remember if we got it before or after Thanksgiving. Well, I went and watched the Christmas tree video where we went and got the Christmas tree and it was the day after Thanksgiving that we went to get the Christmas tree. And it must not have been cold then or even cool because we weren't dressed like it was cool. So <laughs> this year it's already cool enough now to wear a jacket. So I'm thinking for sure by the end of November, it's gonna be pretty cold. Maybe. Sometimes this weather will flip on you and it'll be nice and cool and then jump back up to the upper 70s in December. Sometimes it does that. Woo! That was bubbling up. I should have used a bigger bowl. Okay, Jonah. You need to do this pretty quick and you're just going to squirt it. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top. You want to leave a little bit of space just like that. There you go. It's already gummying up there. <laughs> do you need me to help you do it faster? No. Yeah. Alright. You don't need my help anymore, huh? Okay. We always love me though, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest of the kids are outside doing something with a tire swing. And y'all, Titus said he could build a slide like that slide was over at that um, Fest Fall Festival that we went to. I mean, those things were fun. I didn't do it, but everybody else loved them, even Titus. So I'm assuming they were very fun. I was going to go down it, but I didn't know if I wanted to really go down it and slide across the ground like that in front of all those people because it started when we first went over there, there weren't many people at the slides. And then I think everybody started realizing, oh, okay, the slides are the funnest thing going down here. And it started getting really busy. <laughs> so I just watched on the sidelines, but they loved them. I'm telling y'all, there were adults going down those slides. There was one man, I'm sure he was almost 70. He was at least, I mean, I think he was a little over 70 and he just kept going down that big slide. He loved it. So it must've been fun. I'm looking at the chickens. They're all standing at the gate. They are so smart. You wouldn't think chickens are smart, but they are smart. And they know that this is about the time of day that we let them out of the pen. They're all standing right there at the door like they're waiting, but I'm waiting for Manly to wake up because y'all know he loves to go let his quack quacks out. But they are, they're standing there waiting. At the door, Tyler already collected the eggs this morning. How many did we have? Five this morning. They're starting to lay at a different time. They used to lay in the afternoons. That's why we waited until after three o'clock to let them out to make sure they laid their eggs in the coop. Now I'm pretty sure they're laying in the morning because we normally have anywhere from three to six eggs by lunchtime. So they switched it up. It's okay if you don't fill them all up, it's fine. Yeah, it turned uh, gummy like really fast. You have to really be in fast forward to get it filled up quick because it turned gummy-ish mm. and got all over the bowl. I think you got enough for one more and then we'll put it in the refrigerator for just 20 minutes and you'll be ready.
got through shoeing over here. I'm trimming these horses. James just bought that new horse right there, and he's gonna try him out right there and see what he'd do bareback. How long have you had him, James? Today's the first day I've, I've actually got on him here. Okay. I, had him, I bought him Sunday. Sunday? I think he's gonna do you a good job. Allie, tell me about this horse right here. This horse is two years old. He's a thoroughbred out of Rascal Cat and Dinner Delight. And he come from Arkansas. Yes, he's Arkansas bred. And he is for sale. <laughs> he's for sale. I just got him trimmed. Well, that's the first time uh, that we've trimmed him here. She just got him from Arkansas, so. Right, yeah, he is a tall, tall horse, ain't no doubt. Okay, y'all, so I got this waffle maker out because I thought I might make some waffles for the freezer. I got it from Aldi, you know, yesterday. But Titus is on his way home now, and we're gonna make the broccoli cheddar soup for supper tonight, but he had the idea to cook it outside over the fire, and we always love doing that. Y'all know we love cooking outside. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna build a little fire and go sit around the fire and cook it outside, but we don't have the big pot that we used to have. Titus gave that to somebody a long time ago, so we need to go to Walmart real quick and get another one of those, and we need some stuff from Tractor Spot. So we're gonna go get that real quick and then come back and cook. So, I'll save the waffle making for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we gotta go change your shirt. You got yogurt all over your shirt. Where's our good toothbrushes? Oh, I see them right there, right there, Daddy. There's only one pack well, left. At, Grab them. I'm looking at them. Tyler right. wants one. I'm looking for them. Right here. They? Move mm -hmm. over. To, nope, to the lip. To the lip. To the lip. Right there. <laughs> Come here. They sell out quick, y'all. Colgate Renewal. I'm telling y'all. That it's is a life changing the toothbrush. toothbrush. That's right. Change my whole life. Probably need to get some more of these. Yeah, campfire forks. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be perfect for when we. Get the telescope kind, because then you can push them down. They're lodge. easier to store. <laughs> They've got lodge. Lodge. The Christmas lodge. Well, you want to give one? We're we going to keep talking about it. Yeah, let's we'll see. Well, right there, don't weigh but 50 pounds. It's let's go. Deep. Jacob's truck, Daddy, get it. Okay, it looks yeah. like Jacob's truck. Far, that far back with his truck. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of looks like it. Well, I mean, you can use your imagination, I imagine. Right. Look at this tree skirt. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and it has chickens on it. That's cute. Oh, yep. Yeah. And the cow. cow? Mm -hmm. Let's pretend this is a wild cow running out of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I like that in right there. What's the scent? I'll see if you can guess it without turning it over. Cider? Hey, something? Well, apple here's cider? The here's the deal. Once you sniff a few times, it's over. You you can only do it one time. White sage and walnut. White we sage we sage never would have gotten white that. White sage and walnut. Is that it? <laughs> that just came to me. All we never would have got that. White sage, walnut. <laughs> we just bought this down here. I wanted the top, but I broke it. It's okay. We're gonna buy this. It looks like, you know, on Little House on the Prairie, the stuff that they would put like... Um, lard. lard. Yes, fat. lard. Lard in. <laughs>
I'm doing is moving the moving the fire over. That way I got some room to cook over here. Cause see, this one don't have them little buttons or knobs where you turn them. Right. There's nothing like cooking out in the dark. Uh, we love something like this. <laughs> it gets dark so early. Are you grating the cheese over, John? Yeah, John has got the cheese going here. All right, good. John's doing cheese. John is doing the cheese. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and slice our onion. We're gonna go ahead and get our butter open. I got you in the spotlight. Right. <laughs> I'll show you all the lighting, the fancy lighting that we're using for this the video. We, the main light we're using this fire right Right, now. but here's the other fancy light. Yellow Six, flashlight. <laughs> $6.80 at Walmart with the battery. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get this thing situated just like that. I think that's gonna do just fine. We'll know here in just a second. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's gonna do absolutely fine. Notice how I got the fire all on this side right here. Mm -hmm. And I got this spot right here where we can do business. We put our onion in here. And salt and pepper that bad boy. Don't y'all worry, that will cook down. Now we're fixing to go in with our chicken broth. We're gonna go in with about a cup of this cream. What I'm gonna do is probably go ahead and cook us a little barbecue bread over here on the side. We'll have broccoli soup and some barbecue bread. I know I'm squatted down here, kind of like Sasquatch. My knees getting a little warm. <laughs> Was your supper good? He had some chicken fries to go with his soup. Ooh, did you have a little accident there on your shirt? Had a little spill? No, no, no. <laughs> Are you ready for a bath? I go bath. Okay. 